And we're live, motherfuckers. Welcome back. Things like this, I am too modest, you know. But I do believe in myself. There's just nothing like a frosty bottle of Coca Cola. Fucking interrupt. Yeah. So we're busy, guys. Oh, I'm... This guy won't leave me alone. Will oh, you shut up? Christmas. Yes, I've got decorations to show you in a bit. In a bit, we'll get onto that. But yeah, what a crazy time. We're out of lockdown. We're in tier three, or we're gonna be. Like, what's going on? What is going on with the world, guys? We haven't gone mental already. And those of you who follow football as much as I do will know that um, we lost another football legend, Paolo Rossi. If you're Italian, you know what that name means and what that stands for. And what he did in 1982 to win us the World Cup. Scoring a hat-trick in against Brazil on the way to the final. So in that tournament we beat, you know, the best, we beat the best. Brazil, Argentina, Germany. And at the time we were the best because we beat the best. And of course Maradona, don't get me wrong, was the best player. But as a team, the Argentinian team, uh, you know, if not for him, they might not have won it. He was a, he was a you know, did so much as an individual for that team. He made them. But uh, Paolo Rossi was part of the, that incredible unit of players that, that we had in 1982. And yeah, he was accused of match fixing six months before, almost wasn't allowed to play. But then that was all rescinded and it turned out it was rubbish anyway. And he went on to win a World Cup. Just an amazing story, really. Played for Juventus. Of course, I'm not a Juventus fan, but respect what he did for Italy and uh, the trophies he won and the, the success and of course he didn't win it again till 2006 and of course that's my my generation of players you know but yeah I look back and these are the guys that paved the way you know and you see the goals he scored like Hadrick against Brazil back then that was amazing like Brazil with a Z with like Zico and all that um, but yeah that's of a bygone era really and we're in 2020 and ironically he had number 20 on his shirt and yeah I mean people at the beginning of this year like in general just thought I was going to be you know, like, a lot of people said oh it's going to be my year good year you know 20 is not a bad number you know I thought of the Paolo Rossi jersey I was like okay yeah it might be a good year um, I'm not going to say anything about next year um, you know it might just skip forward to 2022, just in case, you know, just to avoid any any uh, slip ups again. Anyone who last year said 2020 is going to be their year, don't be saying 2021 is going to be a year, because who knows? God, I'm having a reason 21. Is that even more ironic? Of course, 21 being one of my lucky numbers. But yeah, let's not say that. Let's not jinx anything. And yeah, there's a vaccine here. Will you grow a third arm when you take it? Who knows? Um, a lot of people do trust it, I kind of do, I, when I get offered it, I'll, I'll get it. None of these anti-vaxxers and all these conspiracies about vaccines, trying to control our brains or whatever, I know. And it's dodgy if you've got allergies, but I know that was the same with the, the, the normal um, like flu jab. Like there's one with egg in it and one without egg in it. So if you're allergic to egg, then you have the other version. So is that as simple with this? I don't know. You bet there's people trying to steal this vaccine. Like, but they need a freezer to keep it in, so... That's going to be running down the street with a freezer full of COVID vaccines. It's a bit obvious. But yeah, I haven't made a video in a week. I feel, feel a bit weird. Like, I don't know. All this time, you'd think I wouldn't have been up to it in lockdown, like... But I was more than ever, and why is this week any different? Who knows, it's nearer Christmas. But it doesn't feel, it just feels feels weird this year, Christmas. And yeah, things are kind of open, but I can't really go out yet. I, 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 you know, it's sod's law, innit? The vaccine's out and you get COVID. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, things are pretty normal. I've been uh, getting some dubs on the new Fortnite update. Uh, still haven't got a PS5. Um, I'm hearing dodgy things about it. It's crashing and stuff. So I might wait till they fix the bugs. We'll see what happens. 
Um, and it's a lot of money too. Um, and I don't think anyone's buying me that for Christmas. I have to buy that myself. The joys of being a man-child, or someone of my age, you know. When you're like a kid, like, you get what you want. You get to my age, you've got to buy it yourself. Simple, man. You've got the money, use it. Well, <laughs> say that, the amount of presents I've bought for other people. But yeah, no, forget about all that. Um, Christmas, it's that time to be together. It's time for giving, um, you know, giving presents, like, showing appreciation to those around you. And will we be able to see all our family, all our family this year? Who knows? I know we won't be able to. Uh, it's difficult, and normally we have some sort of relative over from Italy for New Year or Christmas. But this year, I just want Christmas to pass. I want the New Year to come and things to get better. Like, move Christmas, I don't care. I do. I've never looked forward to Christmas being over, but this year I do. That's not a negative thing, I just want to get this vaccine and be free. That is it, as simple as it is this year. And yeah, I've done a few live streams. Uh, well, I did one, I did a FIFA live stream um, the other day, if you saw that. But yeah, it's been strange times, we've lost too many legends this year. But yeah, we'll see. And, um, you know, stay up, stay humble. I'm going to show you my decorations now. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. I've been famous, you know, I'm in the paper. There's a lot of things going on this year. I was on a podcast this month, I mean. But yeah, let me show you my decks. And uh, don't go copying my art decoration ideas. My decks. Where's Ant? No. <laughs> Decorations. All right. But yeah, it, if you're in America and you hear me saying decorations, no, they're not repainting my house. Christmas decorations. Because uh, I, I, I can see how people could make the misunderstanding. But I'm just chatting gibberish now. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And... I'm going to show you around my Christmassy house. Peace. Thank you for watching and good night.